Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Good evening, folks. Hope you had a fantastic week. We are one week away from the spring game at Southeast Missouri State, and the Red Hawks football team has been relentlessly prepping for the past couple weeks. Now, this team scrimmaging going into the final fifth week of practice and quite the offensive display today. Several Red Hawks stood out. Here's one of them. Simo doing early enrollees for the first time ever. Peyton Brown making huge plays. That's one big one. And then the situational awareness to get right down here at the one yard line. Coach Took overall saying, hey, this was a good practice today, but the last week or so has been poor, but it still has been a pretty solid spring. You know, that's why you practice. You appreciate your practice at that level for problems to pop up, right? If no problems are popping up, you're probably not really truly practicing. Today, we kind of got emotionally hijacked. You know, something bad happened and we were still in the last play, which created a bunch of, you know, more problems after that. And so we got to learn how to respond to the negative things and uh, make sure that doesn't spiral us. With the game next week, Coach Took said the school trying to make it feel more like an actual fall game. It's not just a football game, you know, with the fifth quarter uh, that we're going to start, which is, uh, uh, you know, as soon as the game ends, we're going to have a, a concert in the end zone. Uh, it'll be, you know, just some great food, fellowship and, and music. Staying on SEMO just down the road at Kapaha Field, Southern Indiana versus the Red Hawks. And hey, the Screaming Eagles would take it right from the jump. They go 5-1 up here on the Red Hawks, thanks to that ground ball right there. Simo trying to respond. Josh Cameron, you can always get a home run out of him. You get one right here, two-run home run. Makes a pretty big dent into that USI lead, but ultimately, Red Hawks not able to undo it. Southern Indiana wins to tie the series at one apiece. And another basketball player in the heartland today. And it's another New Madrid County Central Eagle signing at the next level. Of course, we got Jadis Jones commitment yesterday. Now, BJ Williamson. Williamson committing to Garden City Community College in Kansas. He averaged more than 20 points as a senior, finishing all state and also accruing another state title. In a commitment video posted today, Williams wrote to my, or Williamson wrote, to my coaches, I appreciate you guys helping me understand life on and off the court. I thank my brothers for the memories and my teammates for always supporting me. There will never be another us. Hey, BJ, congrats and best of luck at the next level. Baseball now, Poplar Bluff competing in a round robin tournament this weekend, hosting Van Buren and West Plains. Against Van Buren, the Mules come out and dominate. They destroy the Bulldogs. A commanding lead turns into an 11-1 victory for the first game of the day. And then two more games to play. West Plains and Van Buren would face off. It went to extra innings, but the Zizzers would win that game, and they would also win against Poplar Bluff 8-4 to take the tournament. To pro baseball, St. Louis falls to Arizona. One more game in the series tomorrow in Phoenix. 